I'm Alicia, your prop money millionaire, cash stuffing, budgeting teacher, single mom of three. It's time again to these hands. These hands are big. Okay, this is not your typical hands and bands um, video. And that's okay, because I don't really think there's a typical hands and bands video. And now I can't even find, <laughs> I can't feel the vinyl cuts. Did I get all these out of here? Were there no other ones? Um, we're gonna hope for the best, because I don't feel any more of that one. I've got some, it, some interesting ideas for my binder. I want to switch the Samuel Jackson binder. I want to switch it up. So I've cut this vinyl before. Okay, I designed and cut and bought this beautiful rainbow. It's giving me Lisa Frank vibes. We're going to call it my Lisa Frank um, inspired inspo vinyl, right? But what I haven't done is test removing the vinyl from the, the Samuel Jackson binder yet. Um, I'm trying something different. I am definitely going to try to walk you through what I've done. But at the same time, good luck because I, I don't kind of remember. I've been doing this in baby steps. Um, little by little it's a weird perspective huh i've got like orders over here i gotta finish i've got i got stuff look at me seeing secrets secret secrets let me just put it over there don't be looking okay don't be looking at that um so if you have a cricut maker that's all i have so i i can't tell you about anything else but my cricut maker um i found the font i wanted and then I bugged Gina for like five hours, not, not that long, but I did ask her some questions. And so what I did was I created the labels I wanted, the sizes, and then I used the offset um, function in Cricut Design Space. Um, let me tell you, if you, have a, if you have a Cricut, you should definitely watch a ton of videos i mean we make these youtube videos right and especially if you're a youtuber person like if you have a channel and you're making content then someone searching to watch your videos for whatever reason um shout out to you you're a real one if this is your first time seeing me and this is what you're getting because i promise you this ain't normal but at the same time it is because i'm crazy um but if you are a content maker, then you know the importance of having information people can relate to and find and search and, and use. So you should be using that same concept when you're um, looking to create something yourself. So I definitely am one to go on YouTube and I can learn how to do anything off this bad boy. Okay, so definitely if you have one check it out find out how to i hope that wasn't supposed to be one together i don't know this is kind of getting difficult to understand <laughs> so the offset which you'll see in a minute when i'm actually making it will give me a background layer effect i'm going to have a rainbow background and then a white overlay and then another um and then another vinyl on top of that so it's it's definitely some work. These go together. Dang, I think the other two went together, y'all. I couldn't tell. But, I mean, we'll, we'll work it all out. We'll, we will work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Because the ones that don't make sense will make sense later. And you also have your Cricut Design Space to look back at as a template to what you should be working with. Okay, so I think that's all the white. I'm going to now finish up cutting the rainbow. And I'm going to come back in with a better viewpoint, hopefully, and we will start taking off the vinyl from the old binder, and then we will replace it with this new layered look. Also, I have not forgotten, it is Nobody Loses in November extravaganza, which means I have prizes to give away, 
and I also have some new sponsors. I know I just dropped a video yesterday, so check out yesterday's video, check out last Friday's video. There are hashtags for every video to win a prize, okay? So every video you're gonna have a new opportunity to win a prize, and you'll also have um, the giveaway winners announced from the previous, okay? The previous day or week, just depending on what video it is, because it's, yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole algorithm in my head but I did write it out on the calendar. <laughs> so let us real quick do our daily affirmation. I thought I forgot. And then we will just like do some movie magic and skip to me taking the vinyl off and hopefully a better perspective. Let's get them all out. Okay, real quick. This is a funky video and I'm kind of here for it. I'm here for the mess, okay? And this affirmation says, today I am receptive. Today I will let go of the past. I will live in the present and I'm looking forward to a bright future. This resonates, this is profound, because sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I be holding on to stuff, and it's really important for not only, um, you know, for the sake of your future relationships, um, maybe this, whatever's going on, what you're holding on to, that may be completely done, but it could affect how you treat people in the future. So it's important to not only let that go for your future relationships, but for your own stress and mental health, because you're holding on to that, you're you're grinding your mind and you are stressing your body and it is really important to let that go so that you can heal and move forward um and so i'll just let go of the past things that i can let go of and it's not something you can just say okay i'm done boom doing it mm -hmm, good no i i truly try to work on that am i perfect absolutely not do i still hold on to things absolutely but i do try to work on it and this is just a gentle reminder that you too may need to work on it <laughs> Okay, movie magic. <laughs> okay, I'm going to attempt <laughs> to take this vinyl off. The, the camera angles aren't going to get any better and we might shake a little bit because I'm actually on the same table as this. Um, so this is my Sam Jackson and I love it and I loved having this binder but I think it's time for a change up and so that's why I'm doing this. Um, normally I just I just have Emmy send me some new envelopes but you know we broke so let's I think we can just take this off. I don't know if there's a trick to this. Um, I would just plan on peeling it off, which is what I'm doing now. It might take me a lot longer than I had expected. Oh man, we are shaking. Um, I wish I had asked you guys for tips and tricks prior to me trying this. There's gotta be something. Cause Emmy told me it just peels right off. Okay, maybe like that. I mean, it does peel right off. It's just going to take me some time. What I might do is just peel one of these off, show you what it looks like, and then, oh, sorry about the shaking, um, show you one, and then on Friday's video, I'll have it all done by then, and you'll see, like, the whole binder when I do my side hustle, my side hustle cash stuffing. Oh, we. Okay. I have another tool that's flat. See, mm, here it is, like a scraper. I don't know if this is gonna be any better. Yeah, it is. It's a lot better. So this is my recommendation, <laughs> not the other thing. This is a lot faster, and I am so sorry about the shaking. Let's try to get this Sam off and see what we look like. <laughs> Goodbye, Sam. Don't you forget me. Oh, we. I don't know, guys. I think this, okay, this is the only one I did with vinyl. These are stickers. So thankful for that. So thankful for that. I don't know if you remember that, but I did one big vinyl version, and these are just clear stickers. So those should come off easier, I hope. Let's see. If I just get a little peel. Yeah. 
That's going to be easy. Oh, yay for that. Okay. So, uh, I do want to show you right now one of these, but I might have to pause and come back once I clean this all up. Girl is struggling today. I'm on what we like to call the struggle buzz. Okay. Beep, beep. <laughs> Okay, you know, in my mind, this video was gonna be a whole lot different. It was gonna be super high tech. I was gonna have these like different cool shots. Um, I got lazy and didn't want to do my setup. I need a dedicated space to just record that I can leave up, but I don't have a lot of space. And if you didn't see my video where I did like my bedroom makeover, office space thing, whatever, I'll try to link it if I can remember up in the iCard. Um, Future Alicia, take care of your girl, all right? But my plan, um, when I changed everything around, I didn't realize that I don't get a lot of natural sunlight in my regular space where I sit, like where, where I am now. So I like to record actually like right over there is where you normally see me recording. It, but I have to like move my printer down, move my Cricut like a little bit and then change some things around, grab this other box that I use to, to um, attach my camera, set up the lights, like it's, it's a whole moment. So like this is why you're getting this, this view today. And I wish I could just like leave my setup up. Um, and I wish I had like a dedicated camera as well for this, but I don't, oh man, that was bad, that was really bad, I'm sorry. I use my iPhone 7, <laughs> in case you're wondering. <laughs> I've got some lights from um, Amazon. I've got clamps for my phone from Amazon. I use my iPhone 7. I edit on um, iMovie. Um, yeah, that's just what I do. I don't, yeah. You know, I really thought that this was gonna be a better video, but I'm okay. I'm okay with this. I hope you're okay with it. We are almost done peeling this off and I haven't had to, well, I don't know what future link she's gonna cut out but maybe just not the shaking. I kind of want you to see the whole process. I don't want to speed anything up. I'll give you the raw. Give you the raw. Reminds me of that Busta Rhyme song, but I don't want to sing it because it's kind of inappropriate what it means, but he uses the, raw, he uses the word raw in it. <laughs> I used to love Busta Rhyme. Okay, when I was younger. I still do, but that was like my, my artist. Okay, so now I've got it off. Look at that. And this is my cover. This is not an envelope. It's just my cover. I am going to get, I think I'm going to get a wipe and wipe this off first before I try to reapply. But I kind of don't, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. And you know why? Because that piece is so big I'm going to put over this. It's not really going to be affected. We'll just give it another good scrape. We'll call it a day. The other ones I'll try to wipe off. But this one, I just want to move forward. Okay, so your first... Um, let's find the words. This is going to say what it said before. Um, fixed funds. Okay. I don't have any images I'm going to add to this because these are kind of big on their own. And y'all, I don't even, I don't even know <laughs> which one. This looks like lawn care. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This kind of looks like fixed funds, doesn't it? Oh, this is terrible. So this is something you might need to work on when you, um, I really think that's it. I really think that that is fixed funds. Like I'm looking at the picture on my, yeah, this is it. This is actually the right one. Okay, cool. That worked out nice. Now let's find the white of the same. It's going to look just like that, but a little bit smaller. It has an H clearly. So some of these are really clear. Some of them kind of look the same, but I know what my words are, so I can kind of see it. Um, that's microblading. This is fixed ones. Okay. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to do this layer first, then the white, and then I'm going to layer this on top. Okay, that's the goal. Let's see if we can get some transfer tape. I have some right over here. Just, you know, just bumping along. Just bumping along. Maybe I don't have any there. Okay, here we go. Mm, this looks big enough. Okay, so got some transfer tape. 
I gotta use it before a few times. That's okay. This is real life over here, people. This is real life. I don't know if it's gonna be big enough. Yeah, it'll work. Cause not anything tiny to pick up, so it's okay if it doesn't cover the entire image. Um, let's use this. Down. The shaking, right? Like, ew, what is this? I know, you guys will be okay. So first, let's try to get it centered-ish. Like, I'm just going right into this. Like, it'll work out. <laughs> It'll be fine. So we've got our first layer. All right, then we're gonna go with the white. Again, this is my Lisa Frank inspired. This doesn't wanna stay sticky. Okay. And then we're gonna put this right in here now this is where it's going to get a little bit like i'm eyeballing it right we're just going to go with that and then lastly i'm going to come back with the fixed funds in the rainbow again and this one my stickiness is running out, so bear with me. I just grabbed a piece from my drawer, but for the rest, I'll probably grab a new piece just so it'll be easier to work with. Okay. Now, where you position this is really up to you. Do you want it to be like right in the center? Do you want a more um, like off to kind of give it a different look? If I came down lower, if I came down higher, if I came right or left, you decide how you're going to um, affix the last piece or all the pieces. I'm gonna do mine right in the center, really. Um, yeah, I'm trying to look at how I had the other ones. I think I actually had just a little bit higher, but not by much. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I wasn't sure if it was gonna come out the way I had envisioned, but I think it came out even better than I thought. So now you know how to layer it up. Um, I, you know, I can do a tutorial where I actually show like a better view. We can do the screen share. I can show you Cricut Design Space and how to get your words and do the offset. Um, but until then, you can always Google it, <laughs> YouTube it. But look, I love it. Maybe you want it to be thicker like the words themselves you can definitely decrease the offset of the white here so it wouldn't be so um, much space around it I like it like this this is literally like I'm in love I thought I wanted it thicker but then I started playing around with it I I like the way it came out so yay 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 I'm gonna do the rest this will be my new binder of fixed funds they all look like this I'm gonna go through and take all this off that's it for my video, but let me tell you who won, okay? Because you need to know who won some prizes. You thought I forgot, okay? I'm actually going to pause, clean up a little bit. Um, and I didn't pull the name yet, so I, I kind of did forget. But it's okay, because movie magic, you wouldn't even know. <sighs> okay, we're done. I have a winner. And again, this is for Champagne's Corner, who sponsored last Wednesday's video. Thank you again, Champagne. She's got a... A lot of cool prizes for the winner um, it's a nice compilation of items from her shop and the winner is Yolanda Reese a hey, congratulations I am so excited I love giving away prizes I really do I think this is the, like the, the best thing to do um, it's like Christmas in November <laughs> and don't forget last Friday the video is still open for you to enter, um, and I will pull the winners for that video on this coming Friday. But today's video sponsor is Shalice from the Mommy Trader. Hey, you don't know about that. Your girl came through. She's giving away a 30-minute session with her. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, that's gold. So if you don't know, 
the mommy trader has like pushed 99% of us to invest, to rethink our finances, to get a better grip on our money. She is the sort quick of our lives, okay? Um, and you can enter by putting hashtag mommy trader. That way I'll know that you'll want to be entered into the giveaway. And then next Wednesday, we will announce the prize winner um, from her gracious donation. I appreciate all my sponsors. I, I, I'm I, just like beyond grateful and humbled by everyone's support. Um, so thank you so much. And again, congrats to Yolanda Reese. Please reach out to Champagne. Um, and if you need to have her verify who she is, Champagne, let me know. Because we can't be having no scammers. Scammers don't be scamming. Okay. I appreciate you all. I'm going to finish up this binder. I'm going to watch some Hallmark movies and package some orders. So that Friday, y'all can see my new, my new digs. Like y'all can see my new binder. Okay. Have a good one. Let's see if I can. I like sharing my life with you.